This review has been a long time coming, and I was very excited when the Tavor first hit the market. I saw my first Tavor on the streets of Jerusalem being carried by a member of the Gavadi Brigade, and they had been issued green polymer Tavors, uh, and basically the same exact configuration that I uh, have had the honor of shooting and now owning for almost a year. I'm very happy with this rifle. The craftsmanship, the build quality is outstanding. Uh, it's a very durable and robust polymer and a very durable and robust design. The weight and the balance is all towards the kind of the middle and back end. Uh, it's, it's outstanding. You could easily hold this rifle one-handed and point it in a direction for pretty much indefinitely. Um, here I've also rolled in some footage of my AR-15 and the reason for this is I wanted to have a rifle to sort of compare the Tavor that everyone is familiar with and I wanted to test them side by side uh, to see sort of a long-term reliability test between the two rifles and obviously comparing the trigger and the operation of the two rifles the manual of arms is is quite a bit different um, but if you've used an AR this is a very easy switch over between the two rifles um, when I first got my AR-15, the only ammunition that was widely available on the market were surplus tracer ammo, which is what I'm putting through the rifle here. I'm using an Israeli Elander magazine. Now that malfunction that just occurred was caused by that surplus tracer ammo. Uh, the Tavor also is not a fan of this ammunition, but the failure in the AR-15 was a lot more severe. You see, I had to remove the magazine and uh, I ended up cutting, but I had to reach up into the magazine well to push the brass out, uh, which would have been very, very bad had it been sort of a life or death situation or I was using the rifle in a defensive purpose. Uh, the Tavor's malfunctions were far less severe. Uh, as you can see right here, simply racking the bolt was enough to get back into the fight. Uh, the reliability truly outstanding with these rifles. The ammunition that I used through the testing was all brass. I used like City Brass, I used PMC, I used American Independence, uh, and that was that was where the brands that I primarily stuck with, all 5.56, five, five, uh, outside of, of course, the Tracer ammo, uh, which again, I had in large quantities at the beginning of, of my tests. Uh, you kind of get used to the trigger pull in the Tavor, it definitely takes some getting used to. Uh, it's very stout, very heavy. There's some new drop-in trigger packs that the Military Arms Channel will, will be reviewing. He's reviewed one of them, and I may look into getting one of those at some point in the near future. Um, but I've kind of gotten used to the trigger. It does have a little bit of take-up. It is heavy. Um, this is the first of one malfunction. I wanted to test how controllable one-handed firing is, and you can see the stovepipe, which wasn't really a big deal. Um, all I had to do was, again, rack the bolt. Uh, it did actually chamber another round. Um, it was also in there, but uh, it was just a simple clearing, and uh, I would have been back where I needed to be. And uh, here we have, um, I was out at the range with a friend, and uh, we were doing some long distance shooting with Tavor, and uh, he's a competition shooter, and he agreed that you know, the trigger definitely very heavy uh, for distance shooting, but once you get used to the pulling and getting up a little bit of the slack and bring it up right to the point where the trigger is going to break, you can make some pretty accurate long distance shots. Uh, again, definitely takes some more rounds than perhaps the AR does to get used to, but really a superb rifle, and I'm very happy with the Tavor IDF model and the Meprolite Optic, which does experience from some washout issues, but there were none uh, at the range uh, when I was doing the reviews, and again, everyone who's Back fired it, everyone who's handled it, everyone who's used it uh, has agreed it's an outstanding rifle, and to this day, it is my go-to rifle.